What's up guys? I posted this image on Instagram and a lot of photographers have been asking me to take them through how I retouch this image. So this is an overview video of how I achieved this final image. If you're new here, my name is Don Alabi and this is Ghana Near Photography. You can subscribe and hit the bell so that you get notified anytime there's a new upload. You can like this video as well so YouTube pushes it to more people. So if you look on your screen here, these are the various processes I went through to get this final image. Now this video is just an overview. It's not going to show you how exactly I did um, the various things into detail, but I'll just brush through. I'll add the various resources as to the things, the individual processes I went through to get this image to this stage. Some of them will appear as pop-ups on the screen and some will also be in the description. So do well and check the description for the various links like my action, my frequency separation action um, and other stuff. So let's go straight to, into business. So let me group these so we can see. This is the image in its raw format. This is how I brought it from Capture One. And we'll go layer by layer so that I'll explain to you guys what I did at every stage. Now, the first stage when I bring an image to Photoshop is blemish removal. So this is the first layer. Oh, let me disable everything here first. Okay. So the first thing I do is blemish removal, which I do on an empty layer to save space. Now, if you create an empty layer before doing something on it, you end up saving space instead of duplicating the background layer, which is what most people do. I have a tutorial on how to do blemish remover. So it should pop up somewhere up here in a Jiffy. That, that's it. And then after blemish remover, the next thing I do is frequency separation. Now, I have my frequency separation action, which I'll include in the description. So you can download it and then have it. Otherwise, I have a, a tutorial on how to create your own frequency separation action. The link will also be in the description. So here we have a frequency separation. So in order to sharpen my images, sometimes I duplicate the high frequency layer and reduce the opacity or change the blending to soft light. So you may not see you know anything stronger it's just something something light to add a bit of the sharpness so after frequency separation the next thing i do it's um i do micro dodge and burn so on this image if we if we zoom in you realize that if i enable this dodge and burn see the difference this is after this is before so i use global dodge and burn to clean some of the blemishes you know some of the lighting errors and stuff after the micro dodge and burn i do global dodge and burn see which is basically sculpting the face now if we look at it from afar this is before global dodge and burn this is after before after so we make the highlights pronounced and then the shadows pronounced as well so from there I went into details to work on the eyes. So if we come here, see, if we go here, see, you may not notice it because of the resolution or something, but let me come in closer. This is 100%. So if I enable, just take a look at the eyes. See, this is before. The eyes look a bit dull, and this is after. They look sharp now. So that's one thing I did. I added details to the eyes, and then, here also, I whitened the eyes a bit. This is before, this is now. Take a look at the eyes again. Before and now. Then we move to the lips right here. So take a look at it. This is before and this is now. We made the lips pronounced. This is before and this is now. Now with the wet lips, there is a plugin I used. I don't know if I should 
go through that now okay let me just show you the plugin i use it's called um, retouch pro so when you come to lips see lip glow then there is wet lips so this is what i used to work on the lips. it's just um, a group of actions just like the array panel so all these things you can create them by yourself but if you would want to use what's already there then this is what I used for this particular image. Sometimes I use it, sometimes I use my own actions. Retouch Pro for the white lips. Then the other things also, this um, eyes details is also from Retouch Pro. If you come to eyes and then you go to final touch, it gives you the details. The iris also is from this, when you whiten the eyes and then you see iris is over here. So basically that's it. So you can still retouch without having these plugins. I have a tutorial on how to retouch without plugins. You create your own actions and all that. So the link will also be in the description. So don't forget to like this video if you're enjoying it. So let's zoom out once again and then disable everything here. So this is the image before and this is after. What do you think about this tutorial? Let me know your thoughts in the comment section. How do you go about your beauty retouching? Is this something similar to my process or do you have your own process that you go through? Let me know in the comment section. And if you have any contribution also, let me know in the comment section. Also, if you have any requests, any tutorial that you want me to touch on, maybe there is a topic that has been disturbing you and you, you want me to touch on it and then make it uh, a bit easier or clearer for you, just let me know in the comments section. You can check my Instagram page also, Ghana Near Photography on Instagram. Or send me a message on Instagram as well, if that's easier for you. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel if you haven't subscribed yet and turn on the notification so you don't miss any of my uploads. I hope this has been informative for you and I would like to thank you for watching.